Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so if you look, they say to find the positive and negative co-terminal angle for the given angle below, and there are essentially unlimited answers for this. There, I think this is a multiple choice problem, and they gave the most immediate answers. So I'll go over that, and I'll help you think about this in a general way. So we have 19 pi over 18, and immediately we might recognize that if pi radians is here, this is pi over 2, for example, 19 pi over 18 is a little bit past pi, right? Because 19 pi over 19, that would be uh, exactly at pi, but we're a little bit over that. How do I know that? Because 19 over 18 is 1 and an 18th pi. 1 and an 18th pi. And maybe it'd be better to show you, I'm laughing at myself as a teacher here, 18 pi over 18 pi, that's one whole pi. We have 19 pi's, it's one pi past that. One, one 18th of a pi past that, right? Because 19 pi over 18 is just, I said this already, I'll say it again, 1 and an 18th pi. So it's a little bit past. So we should say something like that. I mean, that's probably an overestimate as well. But it's, the idea is it's a little bit past pi. So to get there, right, we start usually at 0 at the x-axis and go like this. So we need to find another angle that's coterminal with it. I'm going to add 2 pi to it. 2 pi is a full rotation. So let's come back around and end right back here. So that's going to be my plus 2 pi result. And then to get a negative angle, I'm going to go in the other direction. I'm going to subtract 2 pi and go there in the other direction, minus 2 pi. So that's going to give me an angle that ends up in the same spot, but goes in the other direction and essentially forms a negative angle, right? And let's do that. So we have our positive example first, 19 pi over 18 plus 2 pi, which is really the same thing as 19 pi over 18 plus 36 pi over 18. Get those common denominators. And that's 55 pi over 18. So that's this. If we started, essentially I'll trace the whole angle now. We would start at 0, go around, reach 19 pi over 18, and then add another 2 pi to get right back at this spot. So that's 55 pi over 18. Okay, now the other one, 19 pi over 18, and we're gonna subtract two pi, so we're gonna subtract 36 pi over 18, and that's gonna get us negative 17 pi over 18. What just happened there? Well, here I guess we started, what do we do? We're starting at zero, going to 19 pi over 18, and that's weird, it gave me a shape there. Go back and we'll clear that off. We're going to go like this, and then we're going to bounce back 2 pi. So we're going to move back, go back this way, and it lets us lead here to this angle, which is negative 17 over 18 pi. And that's really measuring this angle here, just right. And that is, again, I can tell it's right, negative 17 over 18 pi. Uh, negative 17 pi over 18, or negative 7 18 pi, is because 18 18 pi. Negative, I said this, negative 18 over 18 pi. That would be from here to here. That's a full negative pi, and we're just before that. So that's some of the intuition around it, just kind of spinning around on our axis. And these are the two immediate angles. And you could keep adding multiples of 2 pi uh, or subtracting multiples of 2 pi, and that'll get you different values that are coterminal. Thanks.